Hello and welcome to a special program by McLaren Port Huron, especially for women who are undergoing cancer treatment. I'm Kelly DiNardo and I'm here today with Heather Hayes. Uh, we co-facilitate a program for women called Beauty and Healing and we're going to be sharing some of the tips with you today. The Beauty and Healing program was started in 2019. The program is for women that are undergoing cancer treatment to learn a little bit of information about skin care, makeup techniques, and this wigs. And if you're unsure if your cancer treatment may result in hair loss, just ask your doctor or another member of your healthcare team. Just keep in mind if you are going to lose your hair, it can take a while for it to grow back. Usually hair starts growing back within a month or two after your last treatment, and typically hair grows about a quarter of an inch a month. So you may want to consider some of these other tips to help get you through. If you do think you're going to lose hair loss during your treatment, you may want to consider cutting your hair short in the beginning, maybe down to an inch. And just remember that hair loss can be messy. It can fall out in clumps and you may not lose it evenly. When you do start to lose your hair, you may want to go to even a half an inch just to help gain some control back and not have so much nuisance with the hair loss. And we do realize that that's a barrier at this time, so you, I, we would all love to get out to our, our hairdressers, but that's just not an option right now. So just think about other things that you can do at home to help get you through. Um, if you have longer hair, maybe consider tying it back or wearing a hat that's washable that can help trap some of that hair as it begins to fall out. At our Beauty and Healing program, women are given the opportunity to choose one wig, and that's through generous donations to our Donna Neister Breast Cancer Fund. Um, so women have the ability to come in and choose one wig that they feel is going to suit them. And since we aren't available uh, to give you wigs right now, uh, we'd just like to point out this catalog that has a lot of um, great hats and wigs in it. It's through the American Cancer Society called TLC. Uh, you can find their website at www.tlcdirect.org. Even if you do have a wig, there may be times that you feel like you don't want to wear it. An alternative would be something that's like this. It's a, an uh, alternative to that would be like a turban. What's nice about these is they're very soft, they're very comfortable. You can wear them inside. And remember, at night, you may feel that your head gets a little bit more cold. These are perfect to also sleep in. And these uh, come in a variety of different colors. Uh, we have two different styles that we're showing here today. Um, and you can dress these up too. I mean, have fun with it. You can, if you have a scarf that maybe coordinates an outfit, you can uh, wear a scarf in addition to the turban. If you uh, do think that you are going to need one of these hats too, um, just ask at the reception desk at the Carmanos Cancer Institute at McLaren Port Huron. Scarves are really popular and can be found at a lot of stores or online. To be able to do some of the things we're showing you today, a square scarf such as this works really good in about 30 to 36 inches. Um, you may find that a scarf that's more cotton versus silky might work a little bit better uh, just because a silkier scarf may feel like it's slipping. But we do recommend that you anchor your scarves with a headband like this. Um, this can kind of coordinate with the scarf and just kind of help keep it in place. What's nice about the headband too is it helps fill in this gap. So as you are uh, losing your hair, you have this little gap here and it, uh, the headband helps camouflage that. If you do have a square scarf, you're going to want to hold it up and fold it in the shape of a triangle. Take the folded edge and you're gonna to wanna to place that around your forehead and gather the scarf behind as if you would your hair. And if you have either a scrunchie or a really nice big rubber band, you're gonna just gather the scarf behind like you would your hair in a ponytail. And that will help hold it in place. Something else that you can do is pull part of the rubber band loose and pull some of the material out, kind of give it a quick little poof and it dress dresses it up and changes it some. You can also take the scarf and turn it to the side and it just gives you a little bit of a different look. What's really nice about the simple scarf technique too is once you have the ponytail there and you have it tight as you would like, uh, you can take it off and just leave this on your doorknob or in the back of a chair and when you uh, have someone come to the door and you need to cover your head, it's ready to go, you can just slip it right back on. Also, if you can sew, you might be able to make your own scarf and sew it in the shape of a triangle. We recommend maybe some soft cotton or some lining material and do something just like this. Um, large scarves are pretty popular right now too. So Heather had talked about a scarf that was like 30 to 36 inches. This is a really uh, big rectangular scarf and a scarf this big can be used as well. I took a similar scarf and already put the ponytails on and um, same kind of idea, folded it in half and um, 
put my gathered it all up and put in one ponytail but then I took the tails that were left of the scarf and braided them together so you can take after these are braided I did secure it with another rubber band here and you can wrap it around and tuck it in and you have another option just a nice fancy turban there are a lot of other great things that you can do, but one thing that we do recommend is maybe wear some earrings, wear a necklace, and it just makes you feel a little bit better and it kind of gives it a little bit more splash of color. And the last trick we're gonna share with you today is called the t-shirt trick. So this was a women's t-shirt. It was probably a women's um, size large or extra large. And the shirt does have a little bit of stretch to it. This probably would work uh, with a cotton t-shirt, but it just probably wouldn't feel as comfortable. So um, this shirt was cut off just below the sleeves. And we do actually recommend that you save the sleeves. Uh, we talked a little bit earlier about um, when you lose your hair, how it can be messy. If you save that sleeve, and wear it to bed um, in the morning you can just take it off and throw it away instead of having hair loose and falling on your pillow so it just saves you a little bit of time so this um, t-shirt after we cut off cut off the top there we have we take the hemmed edge and we're going to place it right on the forehead um, we do recommend using the headband just like we did with the other um, tips too and you have this nice loop of fabric so you start to twist it at the base and then we're gonna pull it back up. And you could tuck in all of their little frayed edges. And you have a nice, comfortable turban that isn't gonna go anywhere. And it's also important to make sure that you're protecting your skin while you're going through cancer treatment. So what's nice about this is you can pull that loop back, put on a cute little ball cap, and once you bring that loop back up, it's gonna help hold this secure and it's not gonna go any place. There are um, all kinds of varieties of hats that are available right now. A nice uh, summer hat such as this can help protect your skin from the sun as well. And you can wear a summer hat um, over top of a scarf or the t-shirt trick or even just with using a simple headband. There's a lot of tricks out there online as well. So we recommend typing in scarves or head coverings for cancer in your search. And I'm sure that you're gonna come up with a lot of ideas that are similar to this and some even better ideas. Thank you for joining us today. We hope that you learned a couple things that'll help get you through this time. And we hope that you will be able to join us at an up upcoming beauty and healing program. Just be sure to check out our website or you can call Health, Ac Health Access to check and see when the next class will be held. Thank you.